Hello there. Welcome back to the channel. Time for a JRX2 restoration project build update video. So I recently, recently, no, months and months ago, I uh, picked up two JRX2s. One was in pretty good shape and the other one was a hot mess of misery. The plan was to build two. One, one that I would restore and get painted with um, box art and stick on the shelf next to my JRX Pro. And the other, I would build for a, a track car. I still might, but that's gonna take maybe longer than I anticipated because it does need more than I thought. So um, the concentration and the money and the time will go into restoring this one for the shelf. Um, and that's because we don't race vintage class around here, so why uh, why put a lot of time and effort in restoring a buggy for the track that I'm not going to run? I'm not going to run this one either, but I'd rather have one that is a good representation of what the original was. So here's where we're at. Let's talk about what we need to do to finish it to get it where I want it to be. This body, uh, this body's definitely uh, been butchered by me. It's not going to go on to the... Uh, the shelf queen for sure so i need um an original wing wire an original i'll get a a reproduction body and decals and get that done up as per the box the and i, I made there all the holes in this body were put in the wrong place i don't know if it if it's a reproduction came into the mold that way but there were little dimples there's dimples in the body for the holes for the five link suspension mount um, for the shock or the uh, wing tubes, I I used all the the locations that were dimpled, and none of them turned out to be in the right spot when I tried to put it on the car. So that's that's pretty unfortunate. I've got this weird bend in the antenna tube to line it up with the hole that I made. So it is what it is to um, get this thing back to a factory original, starting at the front. Um, the camber links that are on the car are not original, but I do have the original, um, size ball link or ball studs the, on the front here. There's currently two different size. If you look at these nuts right here. Those are two different size. Um, the links that are on the car themselves, they're supposed to be ball cups just like the steering one here but there's a, a ball inside the cup and a bolt goes all the way through there's nothing wrong with that that's great but it's not as per the original so i'm going to replace those um the original Derrick 2 wouldn't have had servo mounting blocks this one does whatever i'm going to leave that alone a, a Derrick 2 would have had a, a different battery strap but whatever again going to leave that alone um, towards the back of the car, there's nothing really going on here that's out of the ordinary. The bottom shock mounts that I'm using are from the uh, parts. They're done, like they're they're scrap, but I just glued them with CA to hold them together enough to get some shafts in there, just so I can assemble it, mock it up more or less. You couldn't run those. The shock collars. Also not original. The GRX2 shot collars were woefully insufficient. They were much smaller, less material. They split where the bolt goes in. They just were not good. Um, if I... It'd be cool to find an original set in the package and put them on just for the, for the shelf queen car. You wouldn't want to run them though. I don't like to run these vintage shocks anyway because they leak and they're a pain to bleed without a bleeder screw. So, um, moving towards the back, at a Team Blue Groove uh, gear cover. It's not quite right for a Jerex 2. Doesn't quite fit, but it fits enough to stick on the shelf. So, didn't open up the gearbox because, again, not going to run it, so why bother? I did put on a uh, brushed motor. I'd say it's a newer production brushed motor. 
Does not look vintage. It's a Reedy brand, which is a little sacrilege to put a Reedy brand motor in a um, Lozy kit. I'm just noticing that the outdrives on the gearbox are a little bit different than what I'm used to seeing. Normally, there's a spacer between the outdrive and the gearbox. There, there's none on this car. It's normally a spacer goes right in there. I don't know what's up with that, but. So if I open it up, I'll replace those with original. So it's together-ish. It needs uh, original wheels and tires. That's something that I will, you know, fork out the money for because if you're going to have a box art body, these look like original wheels, but they're not. They're they're JC reproduction to allow for modern tires that's a modern jc 2.2 tire i believe the derrick's 2 would have had a a 1.7 or a 1.9 and have to i know the pro was a 1.9 i don't know if the derrick's 2 was a 1.7 or a 1.9 so it's a work in progress it's not bad it's not bad you know if 10 out of 10 is fresh factory sealed you open it up and you build it and that gives you a 10 out of 10 then i've got to give this uh because of the condition that the chassis is in arms are super clean there's a lot of stuff that's clean but overall when you look at that poor chassis it's got two chassis Yeah, this chassis, this chassis is every bit as bad. I say that, but this chassis is almost no, you know what? This chassis has almost no scratches on it. But it's been turned into Swiss cheese. All the extra holes. So that's really unfortunate. This chassis has plenty of scratches and plenty of holes. I may have to swap chassis and use this chassis for the shelf simply because, yeah, it's got extra holes, but it doesn't have a bunch of scratches. So I may end up using this chassis for the for the shelf. That's interesting. Either way, um, if I was going to grade this car, five, five out of ten, and I'm probably being generous. Yeah, but it is what it is. It's kind of a, getting to be a rare car. I saw one new in box out of Texas one time on eBay for three grand US factory sealed box. If money was no object, I would have had it, but money is an object. So anyway, there's a quick update on my Jerex 2. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a comment and I'll be happy to, uh, to do my best to answer it. If I don't know the answer, I will, uh, I'll make one up for you. I'm good like that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for more vintage updates, flying videos, setup videos. If it's RC, flying, racing, vintage, there'll be a video somewhere in the future. So until then, thanks for watching. Bye for now.